There's a few ways to spy on your competition using vidIQ. Now, on my channel, I create a lot of Divi videos. So one thing I can do is go and search for Divi in YouTube. And because I have the vidIQ extension installed, before I even start, I can already see a bit of information about the keyword itself, such as, you know, the volume and competition and that sort of thing, but also get top channels for this search term. So I can actually go in and check out those channels if I want to, and just sort of see what videos that they're making. But also if I actually click on one of these videos, say this one here, I now get a bit of information about the video. So it has a pretty high score. So it's actually pretty well optimized. So, you know, Daryl Wilson's actually pretty good at optimizing these videos according to vidIQ. I can see how many views per hour he's getting. So a bit of uh, just some stats about the actual video. What I can see though is obviously there's not a lot of social engagement. I can see like a bit of information about you know what uh, what the creator suggested, so the number of videos and up next. So the description word count, how long his description is, I can find out, for example, the title's too long, so maybe I create a better title for the same video. Uh, he hasn't got a pinned comment, I make sure I do that. But the main thing we wanna look at is I can actually access the tags for his video pretty easily. You can see here how much he ranks for these terms. Now, in the past, it used to be you could copy someone's tags and you would be recommended with their video. That was kind of like the strategy years and years ago. Um, not necessarily the same, but you can still sort of use this as reference. And I can go here and actually copy these tags to the clipboard and put them into my video. The other thing too is, is I can check out his channel tags and sort of work on that in order to get a bit more information about what it is that he does with this video. So the other thing too is once we've gone through all that, if you go back up to the top, there's stats, we can move over to historical data. I can get a bit of information about how well this video has performed. I can also see, you know, tweets, a bit more information such as trending. So I can see certain videos that he has trending on YouTube or videos that are trending in this sort of space and I get more ideas of that. But the main thing we're looking at here is the fact that we can go through and see what tags, because this is generally hard to find unless you want to go, uh, you know, right click on your screen and view the page source and find the tags that way. VidIQ makes it easy to discover those tags so that you can, uh, you know, use that information for your video. But this is something that's really interesting because you can check the video optimization checklist. Now this is very well optimized, this video, but if you decide to do some research, you can actually find if the number one ranking videos in search are not well optimized, you might have a very good opportunity to outrank them by following the vid video optimization sort of like checklist that vidIQ has, which is in a, a video which I'll pop in a, I've done a video on that, link in the description below. But that's a basic idea of how you can get a bit of information about this video. Now we can take it a step further and go through the Daryl's actual channel. So if I click on that there, we do get a few extras here, such as we get a few, you can see by the VRQ logo, a few extra options. Um, so you can export uh, you know, the public video data to see what videos he has out and that kind of thing. We can go to stats or trending. I like to check out trending because we can see what videos he's produced, which are actually performing well right now. So you see here videos with the highest velocity, that's views per hour is this Facebook ads tutorial, which is not nothing to do with Divi, but uh, it's something worth exploring because you can see here as we go along, he's actually getting more views promoting Elementor. So if I am someone who's looking to grow my channel and I'm willing to branch out and try Elementor, which is very similar to Divi, I can see that that is actually being more successful for him at the moment. And another video down here. So Elementor is getting more views per hour than his uh, Divi videos, so to speak, per video. So you can see by checking that out, you can see how many views an hour he's getting, 61 views an hour, 42 views an hour. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool and pretty handy information. You can also go here to stats. And you can see if we scroll down here, just getting a bit of information about his views, um, you know, the, his videos, how many he's published in the past, sort of like in this time frame, which is well, about a month. So he's published eight videos in the last month. So you can get an idea of his frequency and work it out from there. We can also change this range and go say the last six months. We can also use a custom range. So you can see how many, he's actually gotten 4 million views in the last six months. He's published 25 videos in six months. So you can get an idea on how frequently they post. You can see these are sort of the channel tags. 
and you can copy those again by clicking this little clip um, and get an idea of how he sets things up with his channel. But there's also a little bit more that you can add if you log into the vidIQ panel. So this is my vidIQ account. I scroll down, I can actually, uh, I've got a few competitors added in here. Daryl Wilson is not one of them. I've added these in as uh, just recently, but uh, if I want to, I can add him in here and track his channel. So I click the, click the plus, I type in Daryl Wilson. And I can see he's got a few channels there, which is pretty cool. But I add in this top channel, click add one competitor. And now I have four competitors. I can either go view more stats here or go up the top to competitors and I get a little bit of information. Now I'm just gonna refresh because this has not loaded Daryl in there. Okay, on the right here, I can actually tick and we can compare channels. So there is an issue here. Daryl Wilson's channel is gigantic compared to the other channels that we're comparing. So I actually don't really get a great sort of idea of how I'm competing, comparing against the other guys, but I do know that he is definitely well and truly above all of us in regards to views. I can also check subscriber counts. He's got more subscribers, the amount of public videos. So I've actually got more, sort of, so 11 public videos in the last 30 days. I've produced more videos than he has, but I don't have as many subscribers or the reach that he does. But you can see we can go by daily views, average subscribers per day, and you can actually, so average public videos per day, oh, mine's the highest, <laughs> uh, but you can actually compare your efforts to theirs, but at the same time, don't get too caught up thinking you have to replicate exactly what they do. You can also go over here to 12 months and do the same thing, get the same information. But like I said before, it's a bit difficult. So what if I remove Daryl and see how I compare to these other channels? So you can sort of compare and see how you're traveling, get your competition, and also get a bit of information. So I'm just gonna add Daryl back in here. So you can see here, he's getting on average 20,000 views a day. Max getting 2.2 average views a day. I'm getting, he's 1.9, I'm getting about just under 1,000. So you can actually see uh, roughly how, much, how many views that people are getting and use that as a sort of sense of comparison. Now here's another great place when you're checking out your competitors is you can see what their what the top performing videos are amongst them for the past month or you know all time past 48 hours or this week and because Daryl has a much bigger channel he's pretty much dominating <laughs> this whole thing here but you can see here the WordPress tutorial how to start future of website optimization we can sort of look at these and go well these are ideas people are interested in and create videos around them the other thing you can do once again if I want to just calm things down and find channels that are sort of more my size, even though these guys are actually much bigger than me, I can see here there's only one video that's worth sort of viewing, so I can go to all time as well. And I can see which videos are performing the best across these channels. So my top performing video is actually performing just as well as uh, some of these other channels, sort of best videos when it comes to the global sort of life. So. I'm climb climbing the ranks. I'm not quite where they are yet, but I seem to be getting some videos in there. But in regards to, you know, the past month, mainly Mac has been the main one to reach that list. And then Daryl tops it because he just has a massive audience compared to us. So that is where you can use VideoQ to spy on your competition, getting an idea as to what video ideas you can kind of take from them. You can also go through. So if I click on this video here, I can view the video on YouTube. I'll just Welcome pause that. To the channel party, people. And again, I can use this panel to see sort of how it's performing. I can check his video optimization list and see if I can beat him there. And I can also steal his tags if I want to do that as well. So that's a, just one way you could spy in your competition. Once again, the best thing you can do is focus on quality videos and you know actually producing quality content people want to watch. You're not gonna be able to get by purely on spying on your competition, but it does help to sort of, you know, round things off and make things a little bit uh, sort of better. You get some reference of what works, what doesn't for some people, and there's no reason why some of that can't work for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and there is more coming up. If you wanna check out the videos on the end screen right now, we've got some more uh, videos here on YouTube, vidIQ. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.